What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out Jaspie's nine box moonshine baseball mixer random teams on our website. Again, 30 total spots. Everybody gets a random team. Then I'll be all cards ship. Dang, there you go. So this mixer includes one box of 2020 Topps Chrome Sapphire all the way down to 2020 Leaf Autograph Baseball. And in there, we have a 2019 Bowman Draft Sapphire. We also have 2020 Select. We have Ginter Chrome. We have Topps Black Chrome. And a box of Dynasty as well. Pretty strong little mixer here. So good luck, everybody. Let's roll the dice. And we got ourselves a one and a four five times. So the customers that bought in straight up are right here from Brent down to David. The rest won these in mini, uh, select mini number 30 and 31. Gave away, uh, I believe, 18 spots over there. Or 16 spots, I should say, sorry. And then here's the teams. So it was a one and a four five times. Good luck. One, two, three, uh, four, and then five. Four, five. Jack down to David. Alrighty, five times. Here. One, two, three, four, five. Astros down to the Philadelphia Phillies. So Jack with the Astros, Andrea with the Giants, Brent with the Marlins, Walt with the Rays, Christopher with the D-backs, Kyle Jack with the Red Sox, Brad with the Pirates, Mark with the A's, Tyler, you have the Mets, Danny with the White Sox, Sean with the Reds, Kyle with the Orioles, Ryan with the Indians, Richard Apples with the Braves, Daniel with the Dodgers, Kevin Benedict with the Angels, Ryan Cruz, you have the Cardinals, Oliver Smith with the Nationals, George Cobb with the Cubs, Alfonso with the Brewers. Colin with the Twins, Chris Parent with the Tigers, Daniel, you have the Yankees, Steven with the Padres, Chris with the Rockies, Matt Arnold with the Mariners and Royals, um, Daniel with the Rangers, Richard with the Blue Jays, and David, last ball mojo, Phillies. So if anybody wants to trade, guys, I'll give you guys some time, about a minute or so. I'm going to go grab a cup of water, so if you guys want to give, give each other some trade options, do it now. And if not, we'll stop. The trade window, close it.
Bill Tatebaum now slip. You see, the officials are like, I, I, I can take the ball. No, I, they can't. I, can. I got the ball. I can play. Like Tom would not breathe. Does it matter? Well, ultimately it did. The flag was on Pittsburgh, and Hopkins is true, and Washington is on the board, but again, All right, so what are we going to do, guys? All right, let's just close the chat window then. The teams that people want, it looks like either they're not responding or they're denying it. So, Matt Arnold's going to keep the Mariners, which is no problem, man. I mean, hey, you have chances at some really nice hits, right? So, keep your teams, guys. Try to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Let's see if either the Marlins were to hit because if somebody was interested in them, A's, Giants, who knows? All right, we're going to go start off with the elite box first. We'll work our way to some black over here. So I want to say this is 2015. The first 2015 release to feature prospect veterans and retired players in college uniforms. Damn, Chris, did you say you got two spots in the filler and you actually won both spots? I thought you said you got two spots in the last filler. It looks, it looks like you won both of them. It's pretty strong, man. You went two for two. Matt Clark almost passed him. Milwaukee, first base. As it says right there. Milwaukee Brewers. That's going to Alifonso. I think they were first up for trade, weren't they? Got a relic here of Jose Abreu, which I believe is a second year, I think, right? Uh, I don't know, Mark. Uh, I want to say that they probably will because looking at it now, the 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 Washington football team and and uh, the Giants are like they're pretty much two games up on us because I mean it's only a game and a half, but it's actually two games because because of the half game. But yeah, they're pretty much up by two full games and the half. So I'm assuming that I think they think that. What's it gonna hurt now if 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 Hertz was to, were to go in and take over? If he does well, great. Um, the only other thing is that I, I I think he'll probably do a little bit better than once at this point in the season. But I mean I don't know if that line's gonna really protect him. <laughs> he still managed to get sacked like twice yesterday. He threw a he threw a touchdown which was nice, but he also threw an interception too. So 
you know. Um, so I hope he does get playing time for, for the hobby. You know what I mean? But I don't want him to go out there either and just get killed <laughs> either. But, you know, he provides a little spark. So why not, right, at this point? I think in the beginning they kind of held it off because they still had a chance to go to the playoffs. And, you know, they were riding with Wentz, which is fine. Whoop. That is Steven Moya for Detroit. But now I think that they probably figure it out. Well, you know what? Why not give it a shot? See how he does. Um, and then we'll see what's going to happen for next year. Yeah. I mean, he's always going to get the blame. The quarterback always is. He hasn't played well. Um, I don't think it's all on him. But, you know, it's just he's in a tough spot. And I think the Eagles are also in a tough spot. Because they also have to still pay him for the next two years. And... Looking at their salary cap, if they don't trade him and try to cut him, they're going to lose a lot of money. So, it's kind of be honestly, unless someone shows interest in him, which I think people will. People will show interest in him just because you can't fully evaluate him with the type of team the Eagles had around him. Um, so, I mean, it, look, the only good thing about Hurts is that he's a rookie. So, even if he does take over, guys, I know it's going to look wrong that the rookie is going to start over the $30 million man, but... At least in the books, you're not paying somebody like 10, 15 mil to be the backup. You're only paying them about a million or so to the salary cap because that he's a rookie. So it's not going to look too horrible, but I do honestly think people are going to give interest in him. And hopefully he does. I think uh, at this point, he's just had a pretty rough career to start off. He had that one great year, his second year. You know, like I said, without him leading us to a first round bye. You know, I don't, I don't even think we win in the playoffs, to be honest. That home field advantage was big. Comes back next year, kind of struggles, gets injured. And then last year, takes over without Foles right behind him. Starts off a little shaky, but last four or five games just takes over, right? And proves to you why he's the number one. Make the playoffs. Unfortunately, gets a, a head injury early in the game. Which is not even a crazy injury. It's just more of a concussion and doesn't get to play anymore. So that kind of sucks. And then this has just been all over the place. But, um, like I said, I still think people might give interest in him. I really can see him, if he does get his mind right, plays a little better like he should. Probably get a shot to play with, uh, I think he fits perfect with the Colts, guys. Frank Wright was his coach, offensive coordinator back in 2017. Back in 2017. Well, you know what, Mark? Uh, the Eagles also just dumb. They're... Now that now that Alshon Jeffrey's back, um, they're cutting his minutes. <laughs> Fulgham's not playing as much as he was because they have Alshon Jeffrey back. So that's another that's another mistake. Even though Alshon Jeffrey is paid to be your number one, he hasn't been consistently on the field either. And why are you taking out Fulgham? All right, let me look at group break checklist because I think we're gonna go by the checklist for this break or for this box, I should say. Sorry. And this is Leaf Ultimate Draft. But that Julio Rodriguez should be going to Seattle Mariners. So I believe he is a prospect of them. But yeah, I think there's more to just the Eagles players. I think the management. Some coaching. I don't blame all the, on Doug Peterson. I just think that there's no offensive coordinator that he has. And no quarterbacks coach. So I think you need to shake it up a little bit. So like I said, it's just more than just Carson Wentz. It's the line. Um, it's just the lack of production from a lot of a lot of positions. So I think there's gonna be some house cleaning this off season. Okay. So I have the checklist here, guys. Give me one sec. And yes, Julio Rodriguez is Mariners, and I'll drop this checklist for you guys, too. Yeah, I guess so, Mark. I mean, but 
the one position that you need to have established to win in this league is a quarterback. And not that I don't see it in Jalen Hurts. It's just, um, I guess I just have to see him play a little bit more, right? I think I've seen enough of of, uh, of Herbert to to say that about him. Uh, but I just think now it's uh, the Chargers just better. Um, they better protect that dude because uh, if he doesn't get well protected, uh, he's just gonna waste away his career. I actually liked you a lot, to be honest, but. Jared Jones. Fifteen out of twenty-five. I just think uh, I, I don't know what it was. I didn't really watch the game this past week, but um, I just I don't, the players just don't want to play for him anymore. Uh, so Jared Jones is Pirates. I mean, trust me, I got value. I mean, I'm a big Herbert fan in general, so all my Herbert cards are not for sale, whether I make money or, or lose money. But I've actually made money off of them if I wanted to sell them. I bought them so cheap early on uh, before he started. But uh, like I said, I'm a big Herbert fan. I'm a big Oregon Ducks fan. So to me, it's not going to hurt my value because it's invaluable to me. But that's how it is with rookie quarterbacks, guys. Uh, you have to sell in the season and the rookie year because unless they turn out to be a Patrick Mahomes, <laughs> you know, or I like to use this as an example as Carson Wentz did his second year and, you know, was pretty much MVP. His cards were at the peak. That's when you should have got rid of them because unless they're going to continuously do that every single year, like Patrick Mahomes, you're never going to get as much money back as you did the, originally the rookie year or like the peak of it. You know, like I said, um, Everson Pereira, best time to get rid of a rookie quarterback is his rookie season if he's starting and when he's killing it, like right now. Last week, of course, this past yesterday was a downer, but I don't think it's all going to affect his prices too much. But I'll tell you what, guys, if um, if Tua, Yankees for this one, if Tua's team makes it to the playoffs and they potentially win a game or he does play well enough, People are going to kind of forget about Herbert for a little bit just because his team's out in the playoffs. But if you're in it to sell Herbert, sell now. In the offseason, his stuff is going to drop just like everybody else. It's going to happen. We got 12 out of 50, Chris McMahon. Do you think he's overpriced? Why do you think he's overpriced, though? Because cause he's on the Chargers? Because he hasn't played well enough in your eyes? G1? You know what I mean? Like, well, what is it? I, I believe believe you're a Broncos fan, too, right? <laughs> but, you know, like I said, uh, you just have to sell now. I don't know. I just feel like that's just the way it is. If you're trying to get maximum value. All right, so that's Rockies for Chris. Football is, to me, is compared to like basketball. When it's in season and players are performing, sky's the limit. It is, it is, it's crazy. I mean, look at what Herbers was stuff was selling for before, before um, Pirates for this one as well. Before he started, you know what I mean? But again, thank us and the pandemic for getting customers back into the hobby. Because if it wasn't for that, guys, this hobby wouldn't have exploded like it did this year. And I think people are going to hear are gonna be here to stay for the hobby. I think they really like it, the way it's evolved. Like I said, a lot of customers I hear of. Casey Martin, XRC 101 printing plate. Um... Nothing compared to what they started off with when they first started breaking. Casey. 
Casey Martin's Phillies. But yeah, guys, I was the same way. I had a lot of one stuff back in 17. I got rid of it. I made some good money. And uh, I don't regret it. <laughs> because I, I figured that was his peak right there. Uh, unless he was going to be Patrick Mahomes every year. Yeah, I feel you guys. And I mean, it's going to drop a little bit. It will. I mean, everything drops in offseason, too. And I think a lot of people witness that in basketball. I think a lot of people that didn't know this hobby, once basketball shut down for the last month or so, everyone was like, why is Zion stuff is tanking? The market's tanking. Everything's tanking. I'm like, dude, it's offseason. People, people are not worried about the basketball right now. They're worried about football right now, you know? But it'll go back up again. It'll go back up again. The thing is that it's supply and demand. You know, you, you might have been one of the few Bronco fans here this year, right, with us. Now there's probably another 10 more Bronco fans, you know, and then just around the world. We're in the United States, they're now in the hobby. Now they also want to collect. But I do believe it will die down, like you say, man. Um, because I think some people are going to probably get out of this hobby after a while. Uh, but I, I also believe what you say, too. It's, it's grown a little healthy uh, since the pandemic. And I think they're here to stay because... I cannot tell you how many more places I've tried to open up in this LA area and do breaking now or do like personals and everything like that, you know, but yeah, it's, it's good though. It's good for the hobby. Like I said, there's more than enough out there for all of us in this hobby. So the more people that buy into this, the better prices we're going to get, you know, All the trousers, I know, Mark. I did put you and you and your girlfriend uh, a good amount, man. So that's awesome. But I love this stuff, though, guys. I don't honestly gamble as much as I should, but <laughs> but I love the hobby in general. I mean, I really do. I'm not. I'm not the most exciting breaker. I want to say, and I'll be honest. But <laughs> I think uh, the only thing I can ever say is that, and I'm not trying to be like, you know, cocky or anything like that. But the heat kind of tells itself. So you'll know when I'm really excited because I'll raise my voice just a little bit. You'll hear. You'll see my hands shaking. That's more of my excitement. I'm not really one to just yell and just scream. I, I, just, I just don't like to do that. But. I'm glad I do pull heat because I probably, I'd probably be a horrible breaker if I didn't pull heat. We got a Dubon, and I have no idea. This is my first time seeing this, but out of 99, there you go. Gallo, wow, this is some really nice stuff. I was, I just thought this, and then like premium stock hoops coming out this Wednesday man smart decisions chrome everybody loves chrome chrome is like the best now blackman refractor oh you know what I remember that Chronicles break there was two in the same in the same one right same break what am I looking for here? Is there how many autographs are in this box? Is it just relics or autos too? Oh, it's a refractor there. Hudson. Look for chrome autographs. It just says chrome autographs. Schwarber refractor. Green Clement or Clement, sorry. Zero autos are guaranteed, right? Gotcha, gotcha. Thanks, man. Stuff is nice, though. AJ Puck. There you go. Well, premium stock hoops is coming out on Wednesday, guys, and I'm really excited for that. I looked at the quality control photos from Panini. Stuff looks nice. 
I actually can't wait if they actually have Marvels. Do they have Marvels? Did you guys check that out? Can someone look that up for me? Do they have Marvels in Chrome? Like premium stock? Because if they do, that's, that's going to be nuts. Really nuts. Alright, another one of my favorite products that just recently came out is this one right here. Tops Chrome on black. Bangers. It is called Premium Stock Hoops ba uh, Basketball. So basically hoops, but just optic feel. Chrome feel. Fernando Tatis Jr., we got a rookie Shogo and a Chris Bryant Refractor. And how about a David Wright autograph for the Mets? Tyler with that one. It's pretty big at one point, right, guys? David uh, David Wright. A lot of injuries, though. All right, next one. 2020 Select. Man, I, I hope they have Marvels in there. Yeah, that premium stock does look really nice, though. Yeah, original hoops hobby will always have that little special, special warm feeling to 2020 collectors or 2019 20 collectors because hoops is usually the first product in their NBA uniforms. But like I said, you bring in that chrome, that optic feel to premium stock, it's it's just gonna explode. They're also bringing back Eminence basketball for the first time since like three four years. Ah, that is crazy. Like, Eminence used to be the most expensive product. It was a $5,000 box back in, like, 2015 when it first came out. I remember me and Nick were like, $5,000? Are you kidding me? That is so expensive. And then a year later, in 2016, Tops just dropped the whole Transcendent at $20,000 plus, And we're like, whoa. <laughs> we're like, what the hell is going on here? And... I was like, yeah, Eminem's coming back now. $5,000 is probably not what's going to cost now because the hobby has dramatically changed. You know, because $5,000 box, that's like NT boxes now for basketball. So I figure Eminence is going to be around ten grand. Zach Gallion rookie. We got a Brock Burke. Got you a Super Jumbo Bowman draft and I'm torn. I would say, hold on to it, man. And if the prices just continue to skyrocket and you feel like you're going to want to buy one in the future, I always just say, why don't you rip it? Because you're never going to find it at that price again, right? Gary Sanchez. I'm going to be coming in early, guys. Super Jumbo. Or for uh, Bowman Draft Jumbo. Logan Allen. Uh, I'm thinking that we're going to try to do a close to a 24-hour stream probably. So I'm starting at like 7 in the morning. Breaking from 7 to like 1 p.m. till Joe gets here. Bo Bichette to 199 Very nice. Blue Jays, that is going to uh, Richard Miller. And Lance Lynn to 99 Whoa. Playing Young Kim. This looks like that uh, little packs they did for football select. Tricolor, James Paxton. Silver Clay Kershaw. And we got a Dustin May. Relic for the Dodgers. And Adrian Morjon, little relic here. Oh, 
Mookie. Dodgers edition. As it says, Los Angeles there at the bottom. It's 149. Vladdy Silver. Jorge Soler. And Hunter Dozier. Alrighty guys, so let's uh let's do this 2019 Bowman draft, then we'll go to Topps Chrome Sapphire. And we'll do the little baseball and then we'll end it off with Dynasty. I believe Adley Rutschman is a big one in here, right? These will all be penalty for you, though, I guess. J.J. Goss, rookie. Or, sorry, Bowman's first. Brandon Shoemake. Wander Franco. Fritterer. C.J. Abrams, first. J.J. Blade, Rivera. Quintana. Schultz. We got Henderson. To 99. And we got Christian Santana for the Dodgers to 50. Shunk. Slayton. Grumbell. Fitzgerald. Wyatt. Julio Rodriguez. McConnell. All right, Coolio, guys. I just leave all that for you guys. All right, let's go with Tops Chrome Sapphire 2020. Um, yeah, Eric, well, if you pick up the calves, that'll be breaking next, and then that'll unlock the break, which we do the two-box break, and then in that break inside of it, uh, Inside that break, we're going to give away up to $500 in break credit. So, yeah, if you grab the Cavs, that's the last spot. Like I said, if you grab two or more teams, you have a chance to win up to, uh, up to $500 in break credit. With five winners of 100 bucks. So, basically, the more entries you have, the better odds you have to win some money. But five out of the 15 total possible entries, if there is 15 entries, will have a shot to win some money back. It might be less entries. It might be 13. Uh, might be 12. Who knows? Just depending on how many people actually bought two or more teams. Alrighty, guys. Good luck. And we got Abraham Toro autograph. 
Very nice. Dylan Cease, rookie. And we got Garrett Cooper for the Marlins. Brent. Out of 25. Garlic. Yeah, if you guys want to try to fill up that little filler to unlock the football mixer. Plenty of time still tonight, guys. Like I said, I, I feel like the, we can definitely do that football mixer. And if we do that tonight, then we sell it out. All right, guys, two boxes left. Autographed baseball edition. And again, um, this will go to the team that they're currently on, our team to play for the longest. Unless there's like a Dodger emblem or something on the baseball, then it'll go to that team. But uh, it should go to the teams they're currently on. I'm going to play for the longest. And it actually says the name of the player at the top of the baseball. All right, let's see if anybody knows who this is. Hall of Fame 83, guys. We'll skip the who am I for tonight just so I want to have more time to break open that mixer. Hall of Fame 83. What team does this guy play for? So play 15 seasons in the MLB, guys. Played for multiple teams, actually. With a third baseman and a first baseman. Hall of Fame 83. That is George Kell. Which, I will show you guys really quick. He's also part of the Hall of Fame. Uh, born 1922. Actually, is not with us anymore, guys. Passed away in 2009. But, um, did play for multiple teams. But the team he played for the longest is Detroit. Seven years with Detroit. Played four years with Philadelphia, played three years with the Chicago White Sox, Boston uh, Red Sox, and two in Baltimore. But the majority of his career was in Detroit, and that probably looks like his prime because it looks like those years he was like All-Stars and was MVP in most of these right here as well. So there you go, Detroit. Detroit Tigers on a Chris Parent. Alrighty, sweet. Let's do like that. 
Alrighty, and the last box, guys. Not last but not least, could be a potential monstrous hit uh, heat hiding here, guys. Good luck. Ooh, looks like a Chicago White Top pinstripe. Come on, Luis Robert. Come on, Luis Robert. No, that's CC Sabathia. Wow, I was actually blinded. That's actually Yankees pinstripe. CC Sabathia, six out of ten. It actually looked like White Sox there for a second. So there you go, Yankees. That's going to Daniel. Very nice hit right there. Strong. And there you go, guys. That was the mixer. This was the nine box moonshot baseball mixer on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Appreciate it, guys. Got some nice stuff here, too, as well. Some autos, some relics. Toro, Boba Shed Auto, Logan Allen. So I'll top load all this, guys. So appreciate it, guys. jazbeescasebreaks.com.